Tonight, a coronavirus town hall bringing your questions straight to the governor. 12 News' Jade Biloxa recaps some of the major topics. Over the last few weeks, under the COVID-19 pandemic, unemployment in Mississippi has soared. The governor says about 90,000 people are out of a job. A bulk of the viewer questions we received centered around unemployment. You are going to get the benefits that you are entitled to based upon when you lost your job, not based upon when someone answers the phone at the Mississippi Department of Employment Security. Mississippians get $235 for 13 weeks for unemployment benefits and $600 a week from the federal government under the CARES Act. As Mississippi, by the way, is going to be one of the first states in the nation that additional $600, which is, is under the pandemic unemployment insurance plan that passed in the CARES Act, uh, those monies are going to be available for those who are entitled to it as soon as this weekend. Some cities issued stay-at-home orders before Governor Reeves mandated a shelter in place for the state. The governor has received criticism for not acting sooner. We believe that shelter-in-place orders are something that you can do, but it should be done at a last resort. We believe that it's something that you can do for a, in a certain period of time, but you cannot have shelter-in-place orders uh, in place that go on for weeks and weeks and months and months on end. The executive order set the shelter in place to stay in effect until April 20th at 8 a.m. People want to know when it might be lifted or extended, but the answer isn't clear yet. Uh, there, are, there are some models uh, that have significantly decreased their expectations. I'm talking about models that have uh, changed the peak resource date by a week uh, just in the last couple of days. There are models out there that have reduced the number of expected uh, fatalities in Mississippi down by 90 percent. Questions brought to the attention of the State Department of Health were African Americans being 52 percent of COVID-19 cases in Mississippi and 71 percent of deaths. State epidemiologist Paul Byer says many had underlying health conditions, but whether they had health insurance is data they need to look at and also access to care. There is no treatment for COVID-19, just supportive care. Jade Belexa, 12 News.